Edmonton in uh, 1999, I, uh, I started the master's program at the University of Alberta. And uh, about uh, six or eight months into that, it was suggested to me by the artistic director at Walterdale that I apply to uh, this job. And I hadn't thought about it. I'd been, I'd been seeing plays here. I'd seen uh, three or four plays uh, just in the few months that I'd been here. And, uh, and he suggested that I apply for this job coming up. And I thought, well, you know, I'll think about it. I, maybe I will. And um, he'd actually asked me to um, take over directing one of the shows in, um, in the next season. And, uh, and so I just sort of made sense to him to ask me as well, you know, to apply for this job. And so, so I did. And, uh, and so I was, you know, within um, basically a year and a half, I was artistic director at Walterdale after coming to Edmonton. It was a great experience, you know, just to be able to meet all sorts of different people um, in different sort of places in their in their theater interest. So you could be in one show, you could be, uh, you know, directing actors who, you know, had uh, had intentions of becoming professional, you know, that this was sort of a stepping stone, uh, that they would, um, you know, that they're in their show, it's a good resume builder, you know, they're, they're, they're meeting and they're networking people. And, uh, you know, within, um, you know, a few years, you might find them on a professional stage. But alongside those people in the show you're directing, you might find uh, people who have a nine to five job. They could be um, IT people, they could be, um, uh, you know, engineers, lawyers, doctors, but uh, they had a real talent for uh, doing theater and a real interest. And so evenings and weekends, they would, every opportunity they had, they'd be uh, doing a Walterdale show. And uh, some of those folks would have, you know, 20 years of experience, 30 years of experience acting at Walterdale um, or doing other jobs around Walterdale. And so the, uh, some younger folks who maybe had uh, professional aspirations would learn a lot from, uh, from just the general stage experience of folks that maybe even hadn't uh, devoted their lives to, to doing theater. So I just found there's a real energy around that, just sort of negotiating how people's experiences are interesting to other people. Um, just watching all sorts of different learning connections um, was uh, was really great for me, and it was true not just obviously for actors, but for designers, for backstage crew, um, at the administrative level. It was just fascinating to me to see how volunteers and nobody was paid. Um, you know, it's interesting to see how volunteers manage their time and uh, and, and kind of negotiated the, why this work was important to them. I think uh, to me that was, uh, and, and I started to ask questions, you know, to myself, I guess, about, you know, so why do amateur theater? What's the, what's the purpose of amateur theater in this day and age if, um, you know, if the 20th century, I, I sort of characterize it as the, it's the, the 20th century is the century of the professional. You know, you want, to, you want to be a professional, you want to professionalize, you become a member of a professional association or become a member of a, a union and you want to have um, kind of solidarity um, among people who are also, you know, doing similar work and you, and you fight for, you know, pay equity and, you, and, uh, and uh, safe working conditions and all these sorts of things. And, and so where does the, so to me the question was where does the amateur fit in? What, why, why do you do this? And, you know, it, maybe the first easy answer to me was, well, you do it, you know, as a stepping stone. And this was true for a lot of people here, but it wasn't true for other people. Um, they just, they love doing theater and they also, had a real talent for it here, which I think was something that I was uh, extremely presently, pleasantly surprised to discover, you know, that these are very talented people who just had perhaps made a life decision. Uh, I'm not going to commit to being a, a professional theater artist, um, but any chance I get, I'll, uh, I'll uh, certainly want to work in the theater. So all these sorts of dynamics really interested me.